While using Google Trends, you can discover the search interest rates for specific keywords during specific timeframes in specific regions and analyze the popularity of search keywords over time. After all, having insight into what users are searching for can be critical for a wide range of businesses. Today, let's see how to get Google Trends data with Python and Web Scraper API. First, let's describe some of the uses for Scrape Google Trends data. Keyword research. Google Trends is widely used among SEO specialists and content marketers. Since it provides insights into the past and present popularity of search terms, these professionals can tailor their marketing strategies to gain more website traffic. By scraping Google Trends with Python, marketers can get search volume data for trending topics. Market research. Google Trends data can be used for market research, helping businesses understand consumer interests and preferences over time. For example, e-commerce businesses can use Google Trends search insights for product development by analyzing geographical location trends. Societal research. Google Trends Interface is a valuable resource for journalists and researchers, offering a glimpse into societal trends and public interest in trending topics. With the help of a Google Trends scraper, they can monitor popular topics over specific time periods and analyze public interest. These are just a few examples. You can scrape Google Trends data to help with investment decisions, brand reputation management, and other cases. Now, let's get into Google Trends scraping using Python and Oxidab's Google Trends API. First, install libraries. Once you get access to the Google Trends scraper, you'll need to install additional libraries. Open your terminal and run the following pip command. Then, import these libraries in a new Python file. You'll need the request library to use API requests and pandas to manipulate received data. Second, send a request. Let's begin with building an initial request to the API. Variables username and password contain the authentication required by Web Scraper API, and payload contains configuration for the API on how to process your request. Meanwhile, source defines with the type of scraper that should be used to process this request. Naturally, Google Trends Explorer is tailored for this specific use case. Also, define the query that you want to search for. For more information about possible parameters, check our documentation, including handling Google's terms and rate limits for API requests. Please find the link in the description. You can also specify the Google Trends URL to refine the query and scrape the relevant data. The configuration is done. You can now form and send the request. If everything is in order, when you run the code, you should see the raw results of the query in the terminal window like this. 3. Save results to CSV. Now that you have results, adjust the formatting and save in the CSV format. This way, it'll be easier to analyze the data. All this can be done with the help of the Pandas Python library. This method is useful for those who want to scrape data and organize it effectively. The response you get from the API provides you with four categories of information. Interest over time, breakdown by region, 
related topics and related queries. Let's split each category into its own separate CSV file. Begin by converting each into a Pandas data frame. As the data for related topics is multi-leveled, you'll have to flatten the structure into a single leveled one. Thus, the function flatten topic data was added to do so. The only thing left is to save the data to a file. You've now created a folder structure to hold all of your separate CSV files grouped by keyword. Using Python to scrape publicly available Google Trends data is a powerful tool for businesses looking to stay ahead of market trends. 4. Create a result comparison. With all the initial request information transformed into data frames, you could now use the Pandas library and create simple keyword comparisons. This can be especially valuable when analyzing search volume across different keywords or regions. This would require you to adjust your current code to handle multiple keywords and then add functionality to gather all the information in one place. When scraping data from the Google Trends page, you can compare the geolocation of search trends to better understand how interest varies in different regions. Let's begin with multiple keyword handling. To make the code iterable, split it into reusable functions. First, extract the code for the request to the API into a function that takes a query as an argument and returns you the response. Next, you need a function that would transform a raw response into Pandas data frames, save set data frames as CSV files, and return them. Now that the request and data frame creation is covered, you can create comparisons. This function will accept the data frames for all the queries you have created, go over them and merge them for comparison on key metrics.
The last thing to do is to create the core logic of your application. Adding it all together, the final version of the code should look like this. Running the code will create comparison CSV files that have the combined information of the supplied keywords on each of the categories. Interest over time, breakdown by region, related topics, related queries. And it's it for today. Make sure to check our technical documentation linked in the description for all the Google Trends API parameters and variables mentioned in this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel to see more tutorials like this. See you soon!